Jerry, tell me, uh, you know, kind of your take on this summer compared to uh, being in pro ball, the, the pros and cons of each. Well, it's pretty close, really, except uh, you don't get paid. You know, I mean, but uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm a little bit concerned about how much you're getting tossed. You know, I, I need your help. You know, well, so try to try to stay in the ball games a little bit longer if you could. Part of the reason I hired you was to be a mentor to me. Um, you know, I know you're on uh, Social Security now, and uh, you know you're pushing 80. So uh, you know, I, I would hope that the reason you know that we hired you was to kind of be a mentor to me and uh, kind of teach me the ropes a little bit. Well, I'm trying my best. Uh, you know, when you're 79, some of the brain cells start to go. And, uh, but there's a lot of guys around here that hope they're in as good a shape as I am when they're 79. I, I, I'll put, that, put it to you that way. I agree, I agree. Um, you know, our pitchers have been pretty good this summer. Uh, explain to uh, people listening about the, the Cuban fork ball that you've been teaching. We have been teaching the Cuban fork ball. A lot of these guys have picked it up, and uh, that's where a lot of their outs are coming from, basically. And uh, basically all of our wins, I, I'm, I'm going to credit to the Cuban fork ball. Okay. Do you think there's other pitches that you can add to their repertoire? I know uh, uh, there's a book out now, the Seven Pitch Arsenal. Um, what do you think about teaching some of our guys some of those other pitches to, to help us down the stretch here? I'm not aware of the book. Didn't really know there was seven pitches out there. But uh, I'll do the research and uh, I'll bring it in. You know, anything that works, anything that gets us out, you know, I'll try it. You know, even if I have to switch these guys around, have them throw in left hand instead of right hand. Right. You know, that's what I'm about. Now talk about uh, one of our one of our starters, Andy Hillis. Um, he's had some uh, some finger problems this year, and uh, you know he's been he's been really good a few times out and really bad a few times out. Tell us about uh, some of those finger problems that he's having and what he can do and what might have caused those finger problems. Well, when we were on the road, I took Andy to uh, to a soothsayer type that had some voodoo voodoo remedies. And we got him off on some petri oil. We got him off on some second skin. We've actually rubbed some snake oil on it, some horse liniment, that kind of thing. It seems to be coming around. He's building up a layer of actually three or four or five layers of skin on top of your natural skin. So this should help him going forward. And I'm trying to get him off the seam a little bit because that's what's tearing that apart. But I think we got that situation covered now. He's got a real, a major thick, uh, callus there on his finger now. So we shouldn't have any problems with that going forward. Well, good. Um, I guess one final thing before we head out to the park is, you know, you and I like to go to a fine establishments on the road to eat some dinner. Uh, you know, we've had some quality meals at the ballpark as well. Just uh, tell the people at home kind of some of the places we eat and some of the things that, you know, uh, Coach Benjamin and, and yourself and I, you know, like to eat for dinner. We like to hit Buffalo Wild Wings a lot, you know several different types of sauce on the wings. Uh, that's been a good spot for us. Chili's has worked out pretty well, but uh, I, I have to commend these other ballparks for the, uh, for the getaway food that we're getting. Uh, it's, uh, it's probably, it's the epitome of what a ballpark hot dog should, should really be. You know, maybe there hadn't been quite enough of it, but uh, can't, can't gripe about the taste. It's been, it's been pretty, Pretty substantial. Talk about as far as nutrition value. Uh, a lot of these places don't that we've eaten at. You know, we've asked uh, for a little extra butter here and there. Uh, talk about the ups and downs of, of the nutritional value that you're getting this summer. We try to look for places that do not put butter on vegetables. You know, and uh, steamed vegetables is a new concept for some of our guys. <laughs> but but we're trying to we're trying to move them to the more nutritional uh, value of the things and frankly I think that's why some of our guys have been late for the bus because they're not getting the nutrition that they need to be honest and, 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 and leading up to that with no nutrition uh, plan set in place talk about uh, the workout regimen of the players and some of the coaches the workout regimen uh, has been uh, basically non-existent you know it's uh, these guys are pretty pretty much been on their own and some of them are getting some work in at different places. I know Andy has a personal trainer and I wish all the pitchers had that to get their work in outside of the situation here. But uh, that's not been a, a real great situation this, this summer, to be honest with you. It's, uh, I think it's hurt us in a couple of cases. Yeah. Now, uh, you, you, brought in, you brought in your, uh, your godson, Lee Thompson. Uh, talk about how he's going to help this staff and be a mentor to guys like Andy Hillis and Daniel Paulo down the road. 
Oh, uh, Lee, I tell you what, he's a ball of fire, and, uh, you know, I call him the penguin cannonball, and he's very compact out there on the mound. He, he gives 100% effort. He wants to pitch every day, and so he is really setting an example for some of these younger guys, and uh, I don't know how old Lee is. He's been around for a while, but uh, he's still got the work ethic. He tries very hard, and so uh, he's, uh, he is trying to set an example for these younger guys. Jerry, thanks for your time today, and uh, I'm sure the Outlaw Faithful will be glad to, uh, to watch this and catch up with, uh, with our staff and uh, look forward to the rest of the season with you. Absolutely. Thanks a lot.